Hi everyone, my name is Gagan. Welcome to the first part of a three-part series on hardware security modules or HSMs. Hardware security modules represent specialized temper-resistant physical computing devices that safeguard and manage cryptographic keys while performing critical encryption and decryption operations. Understanding HSMs is essential for anyone who is aspiring to be in cybersecurity or wants to excel in cybersecurity, especially those who are tasked with protecting organizations' most sensitive digital assets. So in this three-part series, we'll explore everything you need to know about HSMs. In today's video, which is part one, we'll cover the fundamentals and the technical capabilities of HSMs. In part two, we'll examine HSM lifecycle and implementation best practices. Finally, in part three, we'll look at industry applications and the security professional's role in HSM management. So let's begin with the fundamentals. At their core, hardware security modules serve as foundation of trust for critical security operations. Unlike software-based solutions, HSMs provide physically isolated, hardened environments specifically designed to protect cryptographic keys throughout their entire life cycle. HSMs serve several critical functions. Firstly, they provide cryptographic key protection, securely generating, storing, and managing the keys that will give you access to the data. HSM uses specialized hardware-based true random number generators that derive their randomness from physical processes like electronic noise or quantum effects. This actually creates truly unpredictable keys that can't be guessed so unlike your software generators, that might be more predictable. Keys, of course, never leave the protected boundary of the HSM in clear text, and HSMs enforce strict key usage policies, including separation of duties and quorum control. Secondly, they perform secure cryptographic operations like encryption, decryption, digital signatures, and hashing within a protected environment. All cryptographic processing occurs within the HSM's secure boundary preventing sensitive data and keys from being exposed in computer memory. HSMs implement rigorously validated algorithms and include countermeasures against sophisticated side channel attacks. Thirdly, they offer physical security through temper evident and temper resistant mechanisms. HSMs use special seals, coatings and meshes that will show visible evidence of tempering attempts along with active sensors that trigger countermeasures like key zeroization when a physical intrusion is detected. Then they help with regulatory compliance, meeting strict security standards required by regulations like PCI, DSS, HIPAA, and GDPR. HSMs help organizations demonstrate the use of industry's best encryption practices and provide the audit capabilities needed for compliance verification. Then they also optimize performance with the specialized hardware acceleration for cryptographic operations. You've got dedicated cryptographic processors performing complex mathematical operations far more efficiently than a general purpose CPUs. With high-end HSM, processing of thousands of operations per second is possible. Finally, they provide centralized key management, giving unified control over cryptographic materials across the organization. This creates a central secure repository instead of having keys scattered throughout the system with automated enforcement of key lifecycle policies and comprehensive logging all part of the functionality of an HSM. The real value of HSM lies in creating a secure boundary that keeps sensitive cryptographic material contained and protected even if connected to other systems and or if those systems get compromised. Think of it as a vault within your security infrastructure one that is specifically designed to withstand both physical and digital attacks. Now, there are different forms of HSMs. Each is designed for specific use cases and environments. First are network attached HSMs. These high performance devices are accessible over the network connections. They provide centralized key management for enterprise environments where high throughput for demanding application is the need. And they also support multiple client systems. So you typically find them deployed in data centers or secure server rooms. Next is PCIe or embedded HSMs. PCIe stands for Peripheral Component Interconnect Express. PCI is a standard designed to connect peripheral devices directly to a computer's motherboard. In the context of hardware security modules, P 
PCIe refers to HSMs that are installed on expansion cards directly into the server's PCIe slots. These modules are integrated directly within the server hardware via those connections. They offer lower latency than network attached modules but are typically dedicated to a single server. You will commonly see them used for database encryption or application servers that need direct cryptographic processing. Next is USB or portable HSMs. These are smaller form factor devices that are typically used by individual administrators. While they have lower throughput than enterprise models, they are convenient for mobile or field operations and often are used for code signing or authentication. Then we have cloud HSMs. As more infrastructure moves to the cloud, providers now offer HSM services accessible through their APIs. These provide dedicated hardware with subscription-based pricing models and can scale to meet variable demand and of course integrate with other cloud services that they offer. In addition to these form factors, HSM can be specialized for specific industries. Payment HSMs, for example, are designed specifically for financial transactions with PCI PTS HSM compliance for card data protection. General purpose HSMs offer broader cryptographic functionality for enterprise applications. What makes an HSM truly effective are its comprehensive security features and cryptographic capabilities. The physical security aspects of HSMs are particularly important. Temper evident design provides physical indicators showing attempted breaches or unauthorized access. Temper responsive features trigger active countermeasures when tempering is detected. Key zeroization automatically erases cryptographic material upon temper detection. Then there are environmental controls which protect against voltage or temperature variation and also protect against frequency attacks. And then you have got hardened enclosures with the reinforced physical casing that resist penetration attempts. For high security environments, look for HSMs with FIPS 140-2 level 3 or 4 validation which requires increasingly robust physical security controls. So in this first part of our series, we have covered fundamental aspects of hardware security module, including their core functions, different types and key technical capabilities. In part two, we'll dive into the HSM operational lifecycle and implementation best practices. We'll explore each stage of an HSM's life from initialization through decommissioning, including practical governance aspects and disaster recovery planning. We'll also cover deployment considerations, operational security, and how to select the right HSM for your needs. Thanks for watching part one. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. Don't forget to check out part two, where we will continue our exploration of HSMs. And please feel free to leave any questions or uh, comments below. And I'm more than happy to connect with you on LinkedIn. Thank you.